Here, let's watch the Jubilee hey, video. Um, do you love middle ground? I know I do. Did you know that every purchase made at the Jubilee shop helped him for a day? Now enjoy this episode. Men are just as sacred as women. We are not more sacred. And so we should all either cover up or go bare chested. There, one of you guys is in this, okay? And I'm a little worried to watch this because like, I don't know if, if uh, you're gonna be, if now, I don't know if you're gonna be cringe or not. Like, I just don't know. I'm, a, I'm pro free the nipple, and I think that covering up the nipple is outdated concepts. I want to ask the opposing side beyond a biological perspective. Dude, look at this. Oh my god. I can't get over it. My man's wearing my merch, dude. That's so awesome. That makes me so happy. What is the major difference between a man and a woman's nipple that makes it so drastic? I'm August. Literally the drippiest community. Holy fuck, dude. Everybody clowns on my drip nonstop, all day, every day. Okay. But like, Straight up, drippy as hell. August, I'm pro free the nipple because I want to have the freedom to go bare chested just like men can. I'm anti free the nipple movement because I think it adds the objectification of women. I'm against this movement because I think that the answer to our problem of sexualization is more than just allowing women to be topless. Yo, why do Jubilee videos never have like three and three anymore? It's just like kind of weird. They, they used to have the balance and now they just don't. Allowed to be shirtless in public. What the fuck? I don't like telling people what to do, but I don't think that's nuts. That's nuts. I think it's necessary for anyone to public. I think there's a time and place for when you take off your clothes in public, just out of respect for other people. Like, I don't want to see a guy shirtless. Yeah, no, I agree. I remember like, I would sometimes walk to school growing up and like all the track people would be running and the guys would always be running with the shirt off and I would get so annoyed. Like I just, you know, I don't really see a point in someone just walking around without their shirt or going into a store without their shirt, a guy or a girl. Can they you mean like in a fucking, in a store, what? Even during exercise in the beach? Yeah, I just don't understand. Like if it's a fucking hot day, if it's like a hot day, why, why can't you just like fucking take your, take your shirt off, especially if you're like near a body of water or something. Have you a step forward? I mean, like, I don't think there's a need to go topless at any point. I think it's just more about like convenience, especially if it's like really hot out. Like I don't really want to be wearing a shirt, especially like in New York where I live, it's really like humid and stuff. I don't know. I just. Shirts are kind of uncomfortable in that context. Like a man walking around shirtless in a grocery store is going to be weird regardless. And I think a woman doing that was. James got some fire hair too. Would be weird as well. Um, but if a man goes with a shirt off on a beach um, and a woman were to do that, I think that should both be fine. The does matter, but as a whole, even if we do change society to be more free in that aspect, the core of these issues isn't going to change because like in other countries when they, you know, they have a different mindset than we do and the issues are still prevalent. Like the core of like how crappy humans are and be doesn't really change whether or not you allow people to be free or not. It will. I absolutely believe that it will. And, and I think it's a very simple matter of obliterating misogynist men, but women who uphold misogyny, which comes from conservative. Why do you think that is? Like, what makes you think that having that freedom is the answer? Abrahamic religions have so much influence over the way we and our parents and their parents. And I'm, I'm going my own cleansing process of, of things in my upbringing that came from my parents that trickled down into my raising my kids. The Illuminati, the Illuminati. Dude, I don't know Illuminati. what the fuck's going on, dude. I, I don't know, okay? I'm live. It's really fucking annoying. Uh, I, it's just like, there's, 
One year, baby. Hold on. I'm gonna text my account manager one more time. Just lower down your streaming. No, no, there is like, there's some shit going on. Why does the stream keep crashing? No, no, not on the ISP side. Absolutely harmful and disgusting and pathetic. Breasts are inherently sexual. Breasts are inherently <sighs> If the whole is inherently sexual, a shoulder, the tip of a nose, even eyelashes, everything can be, become erogenous. I totally agree with you of everything you said, um, but I think inherently they're not sexual. I do doula work, and so I care deeply about women's bodies and uh, the nature of ch um, childbirth. Like when we're born, uh, hopefully people don't sexualize babies. And actually, when I work with it's literally the most fucking annoying thing is when something is completely outside of my control, like completely. Motherfuckers are like. In the chat, ripping me, uh, just like ripping me nonstop. I don't know if other Twitch streamers are not experiencing similar problems, chat. I don't know. Parents, I make sure that they don't objectify their child. I'm like, this is your child. This is, they're not your yours to play with. They're not your doll. They're not your toy. They're their own person and we should treat them with respect. I, I just don't think that inherently sexualized it's society and people who have sexualized the body like i was in dance for a long time and i was like also in sports so i just can't imagine like not being able to wear a sports bra when playing soccer like i just feel like that'll just cause a lot of discomfort when it comes to like running and stuff i feel like it would be harder to do those things without a sports bra oh, yeah. like you you know. be bouncing everywhere yeah, yeah. But still, <laughs> still. So i mean <laughs> the answer isn't freeing the nipple and just letting everyone be liberated i think the answer is that in your home, teach how to respect someone's body, how to respect themselves. And my mom might get mad at me for saying this, but like in my home, she was almost never dressed. She's super, super Christian. But at the same time, that should be in my home. I guess more as appearance wise, if we're talking free the nipple, I don't see the difference. I mean, I'll be candid. I've seen both male and female nipples before in my life. Flag. And I couldn't really tell her. That's right, dude. That's a Hasanabi chatter. That's right, my man is seeing titties, bro. Let's go. Let's fucking go, dude. Difference. I will say on that though, um, I'm a transgender woman. So when I started transitioning, my mm. nipples changed a lot. They became a lot more puffy. They became bigger, um, bigger areolas. Um, and they became a lot more sensitive. Um, I think Nine part of the sexualization of female nipples is because like, of that like, erogenous strength. zone as well. Uh, that's like one aspect of it. Right. Um, so I will say like, they are a bit different. I think that women's bodies are really sacred and I don't feel like I need to take off my shirt to feel like equal to a man, if that makes sense, a biological male. But I think it goes beyond even being equal to a man because we're now more than just men and women. I, I have a child who is recently identifying as non-binary. And just yesterday I met a biological woman who was, uh, she's had her breasts removed. I am augmented and lopsided. I want all of us, including you, to be able to just be free. Men are just as sacred as women. We are not more sacred. And so we should all either co cover up or go bare chested. This movement will lead to more sexual. I don't think she's a turf, dude. She literally just said, um, you know, my child is non binary, dude. For the, for the record, for people who don't understand, like biological women is like a turf term. But I think she's just like, instead of saying cis, said biological. Sexual attacks against women. I hesitate a lot because I think part of this movement for me is 
to change that culture and to change the desexualization of the bodies. And I think with that increased desexualization, less, like, less attacks will happen. Um, in New York, where I am, uh, it's legal to be topless since 1992. So I take advantage of that quite often. But because of the sexualization of my nipples, um, I've been like harassed, been masturbated at, been like assaulted in other contexts. I I'm not gonna be ignorant and say like, that's not because of my nipples, but I'm also not gonna victim blame and say like, I deserve that because I'm showing my breasts. I agree. I, I think in in some way it might be a, a, the, a matter Chatter. of getting worse before it gets better. I love that Chatter was like, oh, she's a turf. Bro, she literally just said, I have a non-binary child. Like, you know, these two things are mutually exclusive, right? But we can't know that until we implement it more places. I have also been masturbated at by um, a neighbor. That's uh, fucking psychotic. He did it twice. I would go out in my yard dressed from head to toe in what I call grubbies to do yard work. I was not looking cute. And yet my neighbor, he took a liking to it, a little too much of a liking. And so I lived in fear for a really long time. Um, I Oh, the other lady said it. Oh, okay, yeah, probably a turf. That makes sense. Sorry about that. I was yelled at for breastfeeding also many, many years ago, and it shocked me and it made my infant cry. Yeah. And the man who, who got caught looking um, decided that he was mad that he got caught and said that I was disgusting and I was foul for showing my breasts in public. I disagreed because if a regular person is walking by and some a woman's topless, I don't think that someone who is not intending to do that, I don't think they're going to just change their mind and go and attack someone. But I just thought about all the women who have been assaulted, who've been like fully clothed. I definitely noticed that when I am topless in New York, it's like people pay attention to me more. So I guess like me having my nipples showing like is pass. not going to lead to me being assaulted, but it will lead to like uh, more people paying attention to me and attracting all people, including those bad people. We can't really say that anything more is gonna happen because I think my no matter 13, three, what rules seven. are in place, people are still gonna be really horrible. But I do think it's gonna take away the sacredness of the body. I'm curious as to what your response to me would be when I say like Abbey, people paying attention to me more um, because I'm topless and, and perceived as a woman. Being topless does draw attention and takes away from someone really getting to focus on who you are as a person and what you're able to offer besides your body. And that's not to say that like in my past like I definitely wore suggestive clothing or I would be intentional about how I dress because I wanted certain attention. Did you guys see the Billie Eilish commercial when she was, it was like a Calvin Klein commercial and she was like fully covered. I think she's wearing like a tracksuit and she talked about like objectifying and how she found it more empowering not to do like the stereotypical Calvin Klein. What the fuck? She literally has also talked about wanting to look sexy when she wants to look sexy. I literally thought the free the nipple people were going to be like weird. There's always like that hippie lady. You know, there's a lot of people like that hippie lady, but. <clears throat> I guess I'd never thought about like people being like, oh, no, cover the nipples. Fine commercial like the free the nipple and going topless is empowering, but I think also it can be empowering not to do that and to wear uh, I don't know, like a t-shirt um, or a tracksuit. I think to me, the Free the Nipple movement comes down to choice rather than like inherently showing that like this is liberating. Because it is really liberating for some people and it's really not liberating for other people. I like to uh, look at things from a historical perspective um, because like this has been done before. I'm sorry for I think spamming circa 1937, the before then, um, men couldn't even Yes. show their nipples in public. They would protest on the beaches and they got arrested a bunch of times. It took a very long time until um, some judge was like, yeah, that's fine. And then here we are today. It hasn't even been quite a hundred years since then. So, so I was born in 1976. So in my 45 years on this planet, all I know is 
that I have not been able to be bare-chested mm. and have even been yelled at for breastfeeding, but men always have been able to. Children should <clears throat> not be exposed to nipples. Uh, someone who maybe grew what? up in a very, in a household where no one- Dog, what the fuck? Children should not be exposed to nipples. But like, how do you breastfeed, dude? I mean, I guess that's a baby, not a child, but like. I don't think she means breastfeeding either, right? He's like one of those weirdos. It's like, um, actually, su a child sucking on a breast is like uh, a red flag for early childhood trauma. One walked around shirtless um, and then someone walks around shirtless in public. I feel like that might create a really big shock factor for the kid or it might make the kid feel uncomfortable. Um, I guess that's my like apprehension. What? Bro, even the other lady was like, yo, that's too far for me. You say about like shock factor and stuff. I think to focus on that and to like prevent children from seeing nipples is to say like to t educate the children that like, oh, this. Bro, I, I got a serious question for this lady, but like she knows kids have nipples, right? Like, I don't know if she thinks like your nipples grow when you reach like um, the adolescent stage. But like you could literally as a child be like, yo, what do I got? I got nipples. That's crazy. Like, what, what is the. <coughs> What's the situation there? Like, you just like fucking uh, refuse your child to look into a mirror or something? Like, well, how are you gonna prevent that? Something bad. This is traits. something I should not look at, um, and that only just perpetuates the um, sexualization again, like of nipples. Um, that I believe is not necessarily helpful. If a kid were to see like a nipple in public, it's like not Love the end of the world. And it's like actually helpful to like encourage that. And to me, like seeing a male nipple versus like a female nipple in public shouldn't make a difference about like how a child sees that. I remember the first time I saw like a breast um, was in a book about um, like African tribes and there were like women that were feeding their babies. And I was just like, what is this? And people did not explain to me what that, what that was. And if I did see a nipple or I did see a naked body, what is unfortunate is that some people do push that down and just like, oh, we don't talk about that. Just to, I guess I, guess I wanna ask you guys a question regarding um, children. What? I think a lot of these problems would have been solved if she had seen a nipple when she was a child. I laughed so loud that she knows kids have nipples. Right. She saw a nipple and was like, what is this? Does she not have nipples? What the fuck's going on, dude? It's just a titty, bro. It's not that big of a deal, you know? I guess if we could find like some way to incorporate this free the nipple movement into sex education, especially at the elementary level about consent and like what the body is, what's when it's okay to sexualize and when it's- Oh, they're not going to like that. It's probably not okay. Um, would you, how would you feel about that, I guess? I think sex education should be in the home. And I understand that some people don't have great parents. So from my private school experience, they did not talk oh. about sex education in a healthy way. And so I think there is a problem. There does need to be um, developmentally appropriate. Oh, what the fuck does she know about healthy sex education? Are you literally a product? Yo, a fucking tattoo artist saw your titties. I just realized she has a fucking titty tattoo. Oh my God. What is happening, dude? Is she fucking joking? Like, I, I mean, I saw the shirt and I wasn't going to clown on it because it's like low hanging fruit. To be like, yo, I can't believe she's like, yo, free the, uh, don't free the nipple. Keep it a secret. Meanwhile, she got skeleton hands fondling her breast disease. But like, you literally have a titty tat, love which by the way, I love those tattoos. I think they're so hot. I'm just saying in general, I'm a fan of that titty tattoo. Um, but like she literally has a titty tat, which means like at some point a tattoo artist was literally on her breast. Appropriate conversation, but I, I really believe that that should be up to the parent. Women's bodies are entitled to the same rights as men's bodies.
Yeah, so I think the notion of like a female body versus male body as a transgender woman is very interesting. You know, for 18 years of my life, basically, I could take off my shirt and like be totally fine with that in the world. And I started hormones when I was in the closet. So I was like passing as male and I had breasts, right? But I could still take my shirt off. And it's only once I started like being gendered as female that that wasn't the case. And to me, that's very like ambiguous of like where I started passing as female because passing and people perceiving me as female is such a, like an individual experience. So, so I disagreed only because um, I don't like the wording of entitled. We're a very spoiled country. Yes, we should all have equal opportunity, but like, you know, no one's entitled to show anything or <clears throat> this person keeps saying kids also have genitals, but we shouldn't expose them to adult genitals, you dingus. Okay, but the difference between a fucking titty and a cock or a vagina is still different. You know that, right? Well, maybe you don't actually. Or do anything that they don't want to do. And right. so, I country, yes, we should all have equal opportunity, but like, you know, no one's entitled to show anything or do anything that they don't want to do. And right. so I just didn't like that phrasing. Let's say that we're getting closer to. He's got tech neck, gamer neck. Yeah, he does. Also, for the record, like. As far as like sex ed goes, like they should still get sex ed. I don't give a fuck. To a point where seeing all people able to just walk around bare chested if if that's going to be so weird that we go in the opposite direction and it's like okay guys you can't go shirtless anymore imagine the shock they're going to be like no way you can't do that to me i've heard a lot in this conversation about stuff being fair and and um, and the entitlement just really bothered me. Life isn't fair. Society isn't fair. People I love aren't that. fair. But as a whole, I just don't think that the movement. Is I love that. I love that. Because life isn't fair. So we shouldn't make it more fair is the funniest fucking thing you can say. Yo, no one is saying life is fair, dude. Holy shit. I just checked and I have. That's kind of the fucking point. Like, who the fuck looks at how unfair a situation is and goes, we must not demand fairness. That's crazy. Is the answer to the issue we have with this whole, the society crap. <laughs> That's a wrap. Oh. Like, especially because you're not even in a situation where you're like, I got mine. Usually people say, life isn't fair, sucks to suck. When they have an One I got mine point of view. She, on the on this side of the fucking uh, uh, conversation, she's literally on the losing, losing side. 